St. Joe's will have to pout, punt the football here. Yeah, it's the right thing to do. You can't give them the football back here. You've got three timeouts. Right now, it's the biggest stand of the season for your defense. You have to get Don Bosco to go three and out. High rising pump by Joe Negley, and the ball is loose. And it is still loose. And look at this. Yeah. It's going to be a muffin come back. No. A whistle came. They blew the play dead. It's an inadvertent whistle. The ball was live. The officials thought it had been covered up. And you cannot advance the ball. The play stops on the whistle. We could hear the whistle in the booth. When we take a look at this, we'll listen to it, Jim, without you and I speaking. And you are going to hear the whistle. And that cost St. Joe's dearly. Matt Hinckley recovered the football. And now the officials will talk about it. And Don Bosco is going to retain possession of this ball. And Augie Hoffman wants an explanation. Listen for the whistle. Wow. Wow. That's a touchdown. Well, it would have gone spot of the football on recovery because of the muff. But St. Joe's. Oh, boy. I'll tell you this. That is, the last time we heard a whistle like that affect the outcome of a football game in high school at this stadium. 2010, Wayne Hills Old Tapan on the lateral that they bring back for the touchdown to beat Old Tapan. That is a devastating shot to the heart for St. Joe's. The ball was clearly out. They had possession of the football. That could have been a pivot, would have been a pivotal point in this football game. Second down now for Bosco and seven. <laughs> 